What's up, YouTube? This is Baby Kaiser World, and here's my playthrough. Baby Kaizo World. 44 exits. Okay, so this is a big one. Oh yeah, to be fair, I have played this before, uh, but it has been a while. <clears throat> My initial impression of this game was it's probably a good starter game, but when I was new to Kaizo, I hated that it dressed you up as a baby, and then it would, like... He would, like, troll you because you're a new player and be like, Ha ha, you hit a Kaizo block. Um, baby's gotta learn. And it, it just... I didn't like it, but... You know, it is a good beginner hack, I guess. But let's play through it again, and I'll see if my uh, opinion uh, of that changes at all. Also, let's start a timer. Uh, after Baby has beaten Learn to Kaizo, Baby decided to try something harder. Learn to Kaizo is actually not on the list of beginner hacks. But probably uh, another good one. Alright, let's go to Yoshi's house. This hack contains easy and short levels that let you practice basic Kaizo tricks. Play this after beating Learn to Kaizo. Good luck, have fun. Uh, this hack uses instant retry to exit a level, press start, and select. Seems to work. Alright, baby's garden. Don't expect super creative levels, just this hack's for practice. I feel like I gotta go faster there. Galoomba parachutes. I thought I was gonna bounce on that guy. could just jump around that. A Kaizo block here. No. Not that I could find anyway. We did it! We beat a level! Alright. Nice, fun, easy way to start the game. Blarg's hot home. So I gotta go faster. Oh, so that one's a normal jump. When sliding, do not press in any direction after you jumped, or you will lose all your momentum. Wow. I had to keep the slide speed there. I did not see that coming. I saw the lava sort of um, do the thing, but yeah, that one caught me by surprise. I was like, why is there a lava splash? 
Oh. Oh, I couldn't jump because I was like in between skull platforms. It won't let me jump. Oh, that's. We made it through. We made it through a second level. It's pretty good. Baby Beach. So if you... You can stand on the edge of these. I don't know if, um... You know, if you're watching this on YouTube, maybe you didn't know that. Oh, that really helps here. to first cycle it. I should just wait. <clears throat> Rubbing that edge at the beginning does seem to help. Alright. First cycle! Oh! I did it the one time. What if I just jump over? At the midway. Torpedo Ted? keep up with the Torpedo Ted. It looks like it flies away. Hopefully I don't have to keep up with it. Let's see what this says. Never hit a message block in a level using water. Baby's first time dying to a troll. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't like how it taunts you. But, you gotta hit it. Foogie fish, their position is relative to the screen. It's just kind of weird. And we made it through. It's good. <clears throat> Alright, Baby's Nightmare Secret. There's a secret exit. Let's find the secret. Go back this way. Oh. 
Okay, okay. Going the wrong way. Full jump. I did that the first try, like no problem. There we go. Had to get a little more speed. I honestly don't remember where the secret exit is. Like, I'm trying to keep an eye out for where the secret might be. I think it might have something to do with that seaweed at the beginning. I think the seaweed's a hint, but I don't remember. It could be another game I'm thinking of. pipe or do we yes we go in the pipe all right did we get okay so we can go left or right is that it what is this section for maybe some sort of hint the plant looks familiar right it does oh I get it at the very beginning there's hidden blocks is that what it's telling me? I think that's what it's telling me. So I already missed the secret exit. Fishing boo in a baby Kaizo game. Yikes. I didn't realize it was over so quickly. fishing boos aren't too bad, but combined with the other ghost, I don't know. At least it's a short section. I'll give it that. It's a short section. I should face that so it turns back into a block. jump. Alright, I should probably just go through here. Go through the opening. I hate waiting. Oh jeez, I screwed this up, didn't I? Oh. 
Let this block come over here. Through the fishing boat. That ending is so trolly. for the opening. Wait for the boo block. There we go. Seems like a good spot. Over here, come over here. Alright, we made it in. Should we hit this? This is gonna kill me, right? You always have to expect a troll at the end of a level. That's how Kaizo works. Oh, I avoided it. 30. Oh, that wasn't a secret. We're going back. Going back to get the secret. Oh. I just noticed the hole in that thing at the beginning goes like oh. way out to the left. It's a big jump to get up there. Found it. It's hoping for a mushroom in here. Oh, it won't let you get the mushroom. Alright, we found the secret. Palace of Blood. Very red. A very red palace. I wasn't sure if this is a death block. This is just a very round block. The swim up here is interesting. Am I swimming in blood? Oh, I gotta fall a little quicker than that. At the top, or the the blood, as it's called, is just enough to mess with your timing. Wait, am I not supposed to spin? Yo, dirty spoons! Boom goes the dynamite. And boom goes the dynamite. Oh, spoons. How are the games? They're going really good. Do me a favor and pick one pack of cards off of this list. I'm going to be doing a card opening stream on Thursday. I need some packs of cards to open.
Oh no. Alright, I'm dead. Shouldn't have touched the platform. Not drop that plane. Star Trek. Oh, you can only have one though. Only have one. Hang on. Let's pause the timer real quick. All right, let's start the timer again. even better than the one I was looking at. Was there another one? Oh, we made it through finally. Did I have to go back? Or is this a troll? Did I get trolled? I think I got trolled. away here. Oh no, that's not where I thought it was. The timing of that's so weird. I'm just gonna do a big swim. It almost worked. Maybe I gotta do like two small swims. That's too many swims. Still made it. Don't run away. Just stand here. Everything will be fine. It's invisible. I don't like trolls like that. No yump. We gotta reset. No yump. You win these. All right, we got another level down. Baby's Nightmare. We already beat it. That's a quick split. Alright, ropes are not toys. Oh, ho, we made it. We made it back. I didn't think we were going to make that. All right, that's a good troll. That's a good troll. That's where it was too tight, because I went straight to the bottom one instead of going back to the top one. I played so good on my first attempt, and then it's been downhill since there. It was a good level. I like this level. So 
back to this one and then down. And that's a lot easier to grab. And then don't go straight for the thing. Alright. The thing below you is an orb. Touching it does the same thing as touching the goal. When you touch it, you have to scream orb. I haven't touched it yet. There's an orb, but I don't want to touch it. Touching that orb would have been a disaster. Alright, Sandstone Cavern. Was this a red dot? I, I couldn't tell. Big jump. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Oh, here we go. E one shot. Do we go in the door? Let's go in the door. Okay, that's just a reset door. Very nice. I just hang out here. Okay, hanging out there is not the answer. Something tells me I didn't want to kill that Koopa. there. It's just a, a wait patiently section. There's no goal tape, question mark. When we get to a point, I'm going to take a break right here. All right, I won't say where I went, but I will say it may have had something to do with this coffee. Hmm. All right. Start that timer. A dark side of Kaizo. Most hacks have invisible Kaizo blocks, so let's practice predicting them. This is the only level with invisible blocks. Sure it is. You know, I turned back because I knew that was there. I did not see that one coming. Sliding, do not press in any direction, blah blah blah. Oh, oh, I still got the be right back screen up. I'm back! I don't need that screen anymore. I did say this is the level with Kaizo blocks. Why 
why would I hit that? I knew that was there. I knew it. Alright, it gives me a second chance. Oh, man! Lull me into a false sense of security. I give this level a one. There you go, one. Why is it easier to get a 1 than it is a 30 or 50? Mm. Hot Milk Castle. Alright, let's read the thing. Don't drink your milk when it's still hot. Who drinks hot milk? Isn't milk always cold? Well, this is, like, straight from the cow, I guess, but... Pause the game just before the statue shoots, and it won't shoot. Good advice. Oh. Boss fight? All right. That just resets the RNG, you know. Counter was counting forever. Alright, enter the forest. Uh, in the forest, the most interesting stuff be happens behind the trees. Be careful. I kind of like these levels. Where, like, you go behind the trees. It's, it's like a cool aesthetic. It's also a good way to hide enemies. Springs can be jank sometimes. After landing on the Koopa, Throw it to the right, you can also spin jump off of springs. Do I want to spin jump? Level wasn't too bad. Is that one of those like quick levels? Was there even a checkpoint in that level? I don't know. Wait, there's a moon over there? How do you get the moon? Uh, platform hopping. Auto scroller. Everyone's favorite. You know what? I see a block like that and I just. It's like, oh, I gotta hit it. I don't have to hit that one. It's actually one I probably should avoid. Oh, I'm still behind trees. I got confused. going I 
I had to switch controllers. My my Y button, my run slash grab button, this doesn't seem to work very well. Here. This guy. One! Sunglasses ready? Are there moles? I hope there's moles. Should I go in the pipe? Let's go in the pipe. Where's pipe take me? You don't want to go in pipes like these in a sliding level, trust me. I want to try something else. I can't get back in that pipe, can I? I could. There's just nothing in it. The so next one is a spin jump. Guess we do that. I wasn't sure whether to spin or normal jump, but whatever we did, it worked. Normal jump? It'd tell me to spin if I needed to. Alright. Clearly, I screwed that up. Ah, oh, you can glitch through these blocks of Big Mario spinning while holding down. Made it. Do I, I don't want to go in this pipe, do I? I learned nothing. So I have to take a hit there. Precision socks. All uppercase. That's the name of the level. Alright. Uh, you'll have to do precise jumps in every hack, so let's practice. Precision can be very annoying. If you don't want to practice these jumps, simply use this door. Hell no, we're doing it. My Y button. Not an invisible Kaizo block.
Wow. I hate those blocks. It's like, I think I need to hit them. Oops, I missed my jump. Don't hit it. All right. All right, Nightmare Forest, secret eggs at first. So I gotta be on the lookout for a secret exit. Pipe! We found the secret. Easy enough. I took all the ghosts with me. Alright, Palace of Tears. I like this music for whatever reason. I have to jump. Easy. Don't actually go low enough to hurt me. Well, that one does. If I hit this, the water's gonna disappear, but I wanna hit it anyway. Didn't I tell you not to hit a message block in levels like these? The baby still has a lot to learn. I think I just have to go immediately. So otherwise, it's just... Timing seems off. I'll be waiting all day otherwise. Spin. I think I spin off of this guy. We made it! Well, we made it here. Let's pause. Paused. Should I go back in the pipe? Well, that's a troll. Alright, no yump, but we at least hit it. Ooh, stay hydrated. This is good advice, stay hydrated. Hmm. Back to Nightmare Forest. Spin. Spin a Rooney. There's munchers there, don't land on the munchers. Actually, a little crazy. There's a fishing boo and a baby. It stopped. It just stopped right there. A fishing boo in like a learning hack. I mean, I guess you gotta learn. I guess you gotta learn. But fishing boos are like notoriously. Annoying enemy.
All right, we made it through. I gotta take notes over, like, little annoying things and hacks, like fishing booze that just randomly stop, and then incorporate that into a level that I make somehow. Uh, don't lose your P-speed here. I lost my P-speed, no! I overshot it. Right, this is actually kind of tough. To not lose the P-speed and switch between jumps like this. This is tough. How do I get through there? Oh. I lose my peace speed, but I get it back there. to get through that part. Even this is kind of weird. Oh. I need to do full jump there. Fun. I have I have to do a big jump and sort of go in a circle. Okay, and then the part where you do the back and forth, I think it's better if you don't go too high. jump there. Spin like that, full jump, full jump. Alright. That's a little tricky. That's really tricky. I could see that tripping up new Kaizo players. Skytree Jr. Like, some of this stuff is actually pretty hard. And to be in a game called Baby Kaizo World, it like, it makes you feel inadequate when you're new to Kaizo. first playthrough, this gave me a lot of trouble. It's still giving me a lot of trouble.
There we go. We did it. Oh, oh my gosh. That's tight. Like for a for baby Kaizen world, this is ridiculous. That's the top. It is short, I'll give it that. Let's actually touch the H. Like, my brain is so ingrained that, like, blue means spin. Here just means hit the block. In this game, when you got to spin, it actually says spin. I'm bouncing way too high off that spiny. It's got to be a small bounce. If you bounce too big, you hit the ceiling. Dummy Fortress? Is the game calling me a dummy? I think the game's calling me a dummy. Spin. I think I have to bait that down and then jump on it. Bait it down. Just go over that one. I lost my momentum midair. It's my it's my run button. I think that third one I, I do have to do a jump off midair. It's not the way to win. Falling in the lava is not a good strategy. I bait it out. Bait it out. There we go. See that spike trying to fall on me? Alright, short levels. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I didn't hit. Got him. Code boo's in the way. I'm in the wrong spot. 
Okay, is he always going to be in the right? No. Okay, don't swim into the potaboo. Let's go where the potaboo isn't. But it was back over that way. Alright, go this way. It's over there. The potaboo's still over there. Who's on that side, so I'll go to this side. I'm always on the wrong side. I wasn't ready to hit. I'm hitting all the dummies. Instead of, uh... Is this Lenny? I don't even know who this is. There's a, there's a hit. We got a hit. We got two hits. All right. It's coming together. Not Lenny. I think we did it. The longest boss fights ever, but we did it. Our baby shells coming up. That should be fun. Let's practice shell tricks before we start with the actual shell level. Um, throw the shell at the peak of your jump, blah blah blah. Double shell. Okay, I've done this before. Not high enough, dang. It's a pretty tall thing. We made it! Alright, are we good to start? I think so. I think the door just skips that. I wonder how much content I missed. So I want to put this on YouTube, but I'm not saving the video. So I gotta pull it down from Twitch. Maybe I should just record it next time. Whoops. That one's tough. I think I'm throwing it too early there. Yeah, that was closer. What are we doing here? Okay. Just a little ahead of it. Twenty-seven. 
janked up slopes. Alright, slopes are very janky. In this game, if you want to slide while holding something, you have to drop the item before you slide. I know that. Wow. It wants me to do a shell jump. my jump. Can I just run up here? Yeah. H. Super steep slopes are super jank. Try sliding under the muncher. I want to play Super Slope Muncher. Wait, actually there's two Slope Muncher games. I want to play the one that Link Dead made, not Link Dead. I want to play that not Link Dead made. Another split. Baby River. Hold down for per precise swimming, hold up for fast swimming. A good water level will never exist. If you don't want to play this bad level, use the door. No, we're playing it. We're playing the level. Skip the level. What is this? A game for babies? stay here and go down, or I think swimming up I got a better shot. I think I need to follow this fish. I followed it too closely. Maybe I will try and drop in on the way down. Dropped on its head. before I hit that block. Oh. 
I'm trying to sneak in behind it. I'm trying to go fast, and maybe I am better. I'm still gonna play fast. I'm still gonna play the way I'm gonna play. out to about here. It's all the way over there. I want to stand about here. good? Yes. Alright, we did it. We got some fish. That's fine. That's fine, we made it. Uh, our block swimming. What could go wrong with block swimming? That could go wrong. Is that the second half of the level? Just a little block here. Holy cow. Oh, this is Invictus style. Maybe Invictus stole from this. This is so hard. It's because it's a two tile gap, I think. And here's a four tile gap, but this next section's two tiles. How do you... If I'm on the vine... I don't know. If I'm on the last vine, I should just go to the top and hold right. No, that kills me. So I should be in the middle somewhere and hold right? And then I can do low swims? Perfect. Not a huge fan. I mean, the level did say there's no such thing as a good swimming level. Uh, Alright, we did it. Uh, smash the ghost's secret. I'll be right back. Alright, let's start the timer again. Smash the ghosts. Secret. I need the secret exit. Is there another? Where's the secret? Wait a second. Oh. 
Oh, whoopsies. Yo, thank you for that follow. Fire. Yes, there's a secret pipe there. I knew it had something to do with those, uh, wavy things. No problem, how's it going? It's going good. It's going real good. I get the week off work, just, uh, playing some Kaizo Mario games. I wanted to go through the list and do all the beginner Kaizos. This is the fifth one on the list. Sounds awesome. These block grabs are pretty tough. And you gotta do like four of them in a row. Is that it? You just gotta do three of them. You just gotta do three of them. Alright. Alright, we got the secret smash the ghosts. Yo, what's up, Celebu? Alright, Brightness Palace. Is that it? Or is there more? Can I go back in the pipe? No. no I got trolled! The floor moved. What do I do, though? I just have to do a bigger jump. It's like, I can't go back in the pipe. Oh... Still no yump. I can't yump. That's just a really big jump. Okay. Alright. Smash the ghost's normal exit. So on my first playthrough, I didn't know there was a pipe here. So this is obviously not my first playthrough. But my first playthrough was a long time ago. But I remember that kind of drove me crazy trying to find the secret in this level. I missed my jump. Through the ghosts. Just get up here. Oh, that doesn't seem fair. Do I have to go faster? Or do I just skip that platform? LOL!
Chapsticks. Is that what your name is? Chapsticks? It's a dumbass username. I'm gonna go with Chapsticks. Alright, we got the H. We did get the H. Oh, that one goes a little quicker. Man, like, as soon as it goes down, it just falls. It's weird, because the... The thing I'm jumping off of is going to be in a different position, depending on, like... Where I'm at, so this is always gonna be a little different. I'm not making that. That's too low. Okay, that's where it tells me where the pipe is. Yes, baby will never figure out what this means, but has baby not seen that somewhere before? Yeah, that confused the heck out of me on my first playthrough. But we got the we got both exits. We did the palace. Or is it chopsticks? Chopsticks or chapsticks? There's not enough vowels in your name. Alright, Chuck Garden. Oh, that guy's gonna jump out. Does it really need more vowels? Um, well, considering you don't have any... Is this guy in water? This one's like a modified Chuck Gate. I think it's like a little free, he's in water. Good point. I mean, you can leave your name alone. You can have your name be whatever you want. It's your uh, Twitch identity. It's the beauty of Twitch. You can, you can be whoever you want to be. Quite sure. 
We got an extra truck here. We're gonna kill him. Just because we can. Whoops. I was lining up a big jump to the right, because I want to see what's out here. There's nothing out here. Spin jump, maybe? Alright, just go in the pipe. Just go in the pipe, forehead. How in the world do you make it in there? Like that, I guess. You gotta go under the boulder. Another pipe. Having a snack. Uh, Dragon Caverns. Oh. Alright, this level looks fun. It wasn't an invisible Kaizo block, it was right where it looked like it was. On the right side, I'll have a better shot at hitting that. Then this is right so far. Get here. Okay, is that what I'm doing? Then I gotta do a shell jump to get to the next platform. That setup's a little weird. It's just it's hard to see how to grab that green shell. But it just kinda works. I don't know where to throw it. I throw it in there somewhere. Throw the shell over there. Wait a second. There's an arrow. Maybe I throw the shell where the arrow is? I don't know if that's right. That's what I'm going to do. It works. Maybe I'm supposed to eat the shell and spit it out? Ow. 
I think I'm supposed to eat the shell and spit it out. Let's try that. Yeah, that makes more sense. And why the arrow's there. right. Struggling with this level a little bit. made that work somehow. We're in there. All right. We made it through the first part. Okay, stand facing left. That'll give me a little more time. shell. I think I need that shell. Wow. I tongued at the wrong time. Right, I gotta eat the blue shell, right? That's the only thing that makes sense. jump off Yoshi and make it? Or do I have to, like, do a shell jump? I think either way seems possible, or plausible. Too late. Too late with a tongue. If I'm not right up against it, I can jump up there. I don't have to do a shell jump. Pretty far right. Can I still make it? Yes. Wow. 
What did I do? I spit the shell out and hit myself off of the Yoshi. Too high. did it all right finally you made it through that is a tough one that is a tough level nice all right baby's first disco this looked fun it was fun this is a pretty good game my first playthrough of it, I got real frustrated with it, but coming back to it, it, it's a pretty nice game. Difficulty curve's a little wobbly, like some levels are tougher than others, but overall, it's it's a good uh, good intro to Kaizo. Baby's first disco. Easy enough. Alright, switch technology. Oh, I remember this level. I remember the switches. I don't remember much more than that. Is it that part? I think it might have been the saw part. One of these sections I remember was really tough. That's that's why I remember it. It might have been. Yeah, it might have been that with a saw that uh, I got stuck on my first playthrough. I go fast, I can just make it. Maybe it was this part? I don't remember. We made it through. Wendy to show up under me. Oh, I... Where's... I didn't even see where Wendy was. Got one hit. There's a hit. 
Well, two hits. All right. Oh, Wendy was right next to me too, and I just I missed the block and fell in the lava. That's on me. Side, Wendy. All right, Wendy was on the left side there. Is that two hits? I hope that's two hits. Why my my run button sticks? It's like I wasn't holding run. Two hits. All right. We did it! Alright. <laughs> Babysitter Moles coming up next. so far? Okay, don't hit that question block. Whenever I see a question block like that, I'm like, oh, I gotta hit it. I gotta hit it, then platform off it. That's not always the case. Um... Did I do that right? Easy level. Easy level. Unhealthy Cola. Do I just hang out there? hang out here. Can I come over here? We gotta hang out here, just chill. Get the block, come up here. Is that right? Hopefully I don't need the block. I might need the block still, but who knows. All right, come down here. Interesting. Didn't need the block anymore. Oh, this confused the heck out of me my first playthrough. If you touch these, everything scrolls. You just have to avoid touching them. Smashing Tears. Oh, 
Oh, there's water. This reminds me of a combination of Moria with a bat thing. And then there's a, a level in Invictus with a water mechanic like this. Whenever there's a bat falling from the ceiling like that, I always think of the second level of uh, Grand Pooh World. Oops. I kind of love that trick with the bats. This water might be, like, even tighter than Invictus. came out first. What's crazy, when you look at, like, the list of beginner Kaizo on SMW Central, there's, like, a few from 2008, a few from 2009, it's 2018, 2019, and then there's, like, a million from 2020, 2021, 2022. cut out, so apologies. I gotta figure out... I mean, there's nothing to really figure out with my internet. I just gotta go to a better provider. wonder though is I'm good now with the internet I wonder when stuff like that happens am I being throttled back because I'm not on the highest tier of service or is there like someone working on phone lines that like did something I always wonder what causes that, because like 90% of the time it works great. Well, that section was fun. Oh, it fell away. I'm glad I just went for it. Alright, second half of that level is easy. No time to breathe. Was this a red exit? I had to get the secret first, because the splits are for the secret. What am I doing? Let me just wait over here for a second. down arrow. Maybe there's a pipe there? Maybe that's the secret? There's a pipe. Maybe that's secret exit. Why is there a down arrow? Oh, maybe that's the point 
where I let the screen push me. Couldn't get in the pipe. can't just push up against the front. Too early. It's too early trying to get in that pipe. Stuff, it like, it sort of lines up. Like, it, I mean, it does line up, but not like every time. You gotta be pretty precise. There we go, we're in the pipe. Hey, we did it. Secret exit. Alright, take another bathroom break real quick. Uh, dead spot on the overworld, pausing the timer. Anyway, let's restart the timer, and what are we on? Green Koopa... Green Koopa Callus. Three Ks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm putting on... I'm being put on a list. Oh, that's got to be a double shell. like this in Hark Bros that struggled with, but in Hark it's like late in the level. There we go. Um,
we make it, there's gonna be a troll. There's always a troll. If we go back in the pipe, we can go back in the pipe. Alright. We dodge the troll? Still no yum. But apparently we dodged the troll. Back to no time to breathe. Hey, I remember this level. Okay, that's a normal jump. Pipe we go. Is that it? That's a lot easier than the secret eggs. It's like the same level, but just a, a easier pipe entry. Baby's first pee run. That's what I just did. Because I'm going to be, like, worried about the timer the whole way. Maybe if I do that, I'll get extra timer, you know? Uh, how do I get to the next platform? Spin! How close we made it. So close. I wonder if you have to do it like that. Definitely gives me some extra time. Let's say you just do it like that. Whoops. I just, I just, I gotta know. So you hit it in place. Ow. I, but if you do this, it just gives you so much extra time. I'm bad. I'm bad at platforming. I'm not bad. I just my expectation is to uh, just beat this in one try, and I'm just not that good. Not that familiar with it. All right, let's try not throwing it. I just want to see if this is possible, but I can't even make it back there. Yes, it is possible. You don't have to throw it. Seems about right. No, oh, just normal jumps. Normal jumps. Why am I struggling? Did that one... So 
some of the platforms are different. This takes a long time to fall. This one goes quick. Over there. Bounce, bounce. Woo! Close timer. We did it. We did it! Sadly, have to head out, dude. Hope the rest of the hacks go well. All right, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. All right, we got Baby Star coming up. Uh, Ultra Star levels are based around platform jumps on off switches. Make sure to hit every switch. All hacks need an Ultra Star. I don't know if all of that's true. Did I hit the switch? Somehow. All right, let's respawn these. Here we go. Does every hack really need an ultra star? Maybe I don't need to get that one as quick as I thought I did. Right, that's a pretty easy Ultra Star. Kindergarten Castle. Most final castles in Kaiser Hacks are five room castles. Yes, that means you have to beat five rooms. Alright, alright, we'll do five rooms. One. Two. that potaboo that totally could have killed me uh congratulations baby has made it very very far one last question mark challenge remains go on go on i thrown caution to the wind cycle I can hit too. My platform disappears like instantly too. Okay. 
I could hit that one if I wanted to. Let's hit this one, and let's hit this one. Let's go over here. Actually, I want to be on the platform behind him. the whistle. Alright, two hours, two minutes for the any percent? Question mark? Oh no, there's a Star World. Who could have expected a Star World? Alright, switch check. Turn to the special world, you must have activated the four, Sweden, four hidden switch palaces. Uh, the special world in a Kaizo hack contains the hardest levels in the hack, most of them without checkpoints. GL. Good luck. Discardation. What? What does that mean? Uh... Hold jump the whole time, don't lose your P-speed. Blue coins indicate eating or spitting with Yoshi. In this level you can use A, L, or R to spin jump. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? I don't play Mario Maker. Oh. mean eating or spitting with Yoshi I want to spit not jump yeah it's pretty tough a little later, maybe? My Y button. It's gonna be tough. I accidentally hit R. Looks like we're at the beginning, but we're near the end. Oh. Oh. Come 
honestly considering switching controllers. I don't know if that's just in my head or not. I touch Yoshi, he's gotta be eating. No, don't jump off! Accidentally pushing the R, and that's making me jump off a of Yoshi. It's because this level creator's such a nice guy. Oh, I wanted to spit, and I didn't. If I land on Yoshi on the right side, does it make it easier to eat the shell? Meaning, like, if I jump later... I don't know if there's anything to that or not. Okay. Jump, spin, eat... Did it, except I didn't jump off Yoshi. It is a special world, though. The game does say special world levels are hard. And that is true of Kaizo. need one good run through it. We just need one good run through it. Invisibility. I don't like the name of this. Oh, this ain't bad. This is a little bit bad. It's a little bit bad. Thank you. 
disco shell at the end of that. Oops. Maybe I ride that platform down and it's an easier jump to the disco shell. on those shells. Like, I'm doing a little turn back on that second piranha and I, I don't think I should. One good run through it. Alright, mold... Moltenity? Moltenity. Up there quick. Eat, get up here. Ooh! I should have seen that coming. That's lined up so good. that mole alive. third one wouldn't be there. I'm not falling for that again. I couldn't make the gap. Oh. 
Why? Why? Why would I have just run through there? Because I don't know what else to do. That's probably why. It's a quick jump. You don't jump quick, the mole falls on your head. It's a fun level. I am enjoying this level. Is that right? Can I just go under that mole? I might be able to just go under the mole. Whoops. We can go under it. Alright. There should be a Kaizo block if you try and jump back out to the left. But, there's not. You can go under it. Whatever. I'll take it! I'll take it! Good level. I like that level. Um, Fuzzy Nation. Oh, it keeps going. That's weird. Oh, I guess there is like a little purpley thing. I thought that was a star, but it was like... Why did it turn around at the beginning? Like, why does it turn around there? And then it just goes off the end of the track here. Is that what I want to do? Does it matter if I hit that or not? Big jump eventually. Except will kill me. So I do want to get the on off switches. there being a Kaizo block. I didn't even think of a note block like that. I did a bigger jump there, that would have been good. I think I figured out the time. I thought there was a platform there, and there was. I was just anticipating the platform being there a little before it actually showed up. There we go. 
Watch out for the note block, and we're good. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Next level. Ooh, is this the last level? Baby finale. The final, the final level of the game. Oh, let's hit the note block. For the speaker box. Baby has reached the hardest level. Baby has no chance to beat this. Baby will never win. Is this... I mean, that's like what Barb said at the end of Grand Pool World 1. Did this come out, come out after that? Spin! Spin! It says spin. There's a big sign that says spin. I didn't spin. Forthsies. We can do the back and forth seas. Oh. So one of the hardest things about the back and forth, like the hardest thing about spin jumping on any moving thing is like matching your speed. And when it changes direction, you gotta match the speed the other way. So that, that is a challenge. Mm, I hit the wrong side of the disco shell. The saw goes back and forth on the left side, there's like one tile missing at the bottom of the thing. It's because the, I think it's just so that it, it'll line up when it goes back to the right. Because this stuff could spawn in at a different time, with like the saw in a different position. So like it'll either bounce one tile further left or right depending on like how it spawns in. I think that just helps everything line up. right there. But, like, I don't know where it's gonna bounce back at. So, yeah, maybe it makes the level work, but it makes it a little, a little janky. I use the J word. Like, <gasps> not the J word! Not jank! It's like a, uh, it's like an insult to call something jank.
so focused on lining it up that like uh, like I don't know. I'm like focusing on the wrong things. Just focus on like staying on the saw. All right, back to the disco shell. I keep... We're in a door. We made it to a door. Wow, you did it! Baby's adventure to become a better player is almost over. Just one final battle remains. Don't give up now. All right, let's do it. Let's do it! Oh, ice physics Resnors. Multi-hit ice physics Resnors. Let's, let's do it. shoot together. How do I dodge? I worry about dodging or do I just keep hitting? I have to worry about dodging. But I can kill one pretty quickly. the whistle 22856 sub two and a half hours Huh! all right that's pretty good this is a long hack let's watch the credits let's see if this is dedicated to Invictus or Grand Pooh World or did this come out before those this may have came out before those what should I call you now? You're not a baby anymore, but that doesn't mean you're a Kaizo adult. Teenager? I don't know. Keep practicing Kaizo, but don't ever forget to have fun. Also, never forget how to say my name correctly. You say it like this. Noiso. Here are some actual credits. Game design. Now Izo. Now Izo. I'm pretty sure that's right. Uh, OSU Mario Kart Man. Falkenstein. Duders. Atari, new, f new Flitshishi. Special thanks, Panga, SMW Central, Nintendo, Testers, all these people. Buttsbot made it in the credits. That's pretty good. These shoutouts: Grand Pooh Bear's in there, Glitch Cat, White Moth, Nexus, Sweet Dude, Valdio, Mini Ma Wally, and most of all, oh, and all of you making the Kaizo community so awesome. All of you. All of you. Smilers, the tongue sticking out. Thank you. You're welcome, Mario. <laughs> 